Condon, Oregon. Condon is a city in, and the county seat of, Gilliam County, in the U.S. state of Oregon. The population was 682 at the 2010 census. The city, with an historic main street along Oregon Route 19, is a farming and ranching community. Condon was the southern terminus of the Condon branch of the Union Pacific Railroad. In 1883, a local homesteader named Potter platted the land around a spring on his property. The spring, which emerged from a bed of black basalt, was known to pioneer ranchers in the area as Summit Springs. Experiencing financial difficulty, Potter surrendered the site to the legal firm Condon and Cornish from Arlington. Harvey C. Condon, a member of the firm, was a nephew of Oregon geologist Thomas Condon. Condon and Cornish sold lots in the town site and in 1884, resident David B. Trimble applied for a post office and became its first postmaster. He named the post office Condon after Harvey C. Condon. Condon Air Force Station was a radar station near the city that operated from 1951 to 1970. In 1998, Condon's historic downtown core along Main Street was listed on the National Register of Historic Places as the Condon Commercial Historic District. The city of Condon is collaborating with business interests to spruce up buildings on Main Street. Most of the businesses on the historic Main Street have been restored, new businesses have opened, a new library has been built. The city park has been redesigned and the Chamber of Commerce is growing. Condon, in Gilliam County in north-central Oregon, is at the intersection of Oregon Route 19, running north-south through the city, and Oregon Route 206, which runs east-west at Condon. By highway, the city is south of Interstate 84 at Arlington, southeast of the Dalles, and east of Portland. The city is above sea level. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, all of it land. Condon has a borderline Mediterranean, Kupin CSB slash Continental Mediterranean, DSB, climate, characterized by dry summers with cool mornings giving way to very warm afternoons, and cold though not usually severe winters. In some cases, very cold continental air from Canada will be driven into the Columbia Gorge, producing an average of two mornings at or below each winter. The coldest month has been January 1930 with 22 afternoons in succession not topping freezing, an average temperature of an average minimum of. On the other hand, 16 afternoons during the three-month winter typically top. Most of the limited precipitation falls during this period is a mixture of snow and rain. When maritime air interacts with a cold outbreak substantial snow can occur, with maximum monthly totals of in December 2008 and in January 1950, however. Only a trace of snow fell between July 1963 and June 1964. Very powerful Pacific Northwest rainstorms, although depleted of most moisture by the Cascades, provide the heaviest precipitation. The wettest month has been December 1981 within the wettest rain year from July 1947 to June 1948 with. The driest rain year was from July 1938 to June 1939 with only. Apart from occasional thunderstorms, the summers are very dry. When hot winds from the interior reach the Pacific Northwest, very hot heat wave conditions can occur. During a typical summer, will be reached on 16 afternoons, although is extremely rare, occurring at all only in eight summers between 1981 and 2010 and never more than twice. The hottest afternoon was on July 24, 1928, during an exception heat wave of seven century afternoons, which reached datas of the census of 2010, there were 682 people. 357 households, and 184 families residing in the city. The population density was. There were 455 housing units at an average density of. The racial makeup of the city was 97.2% white, 0.1% African American, 0.9% Native American, 0.1% Asian, 0.9% from other races, and 0.7% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 2.1% of the population. There were 357 households of which 16.2% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 42.3% were married couples living together, 5.6% had a female householder with no husband present, 3.6% had a male householder with no wife present, and 48.5% were not families. 45.9% of all households were made up of individuals and 24.9% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 1.85 and the average family size was 2.54. The median age in the city was 54.5 years. 
14.7% of residents were under the age of 18, 3.7% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 15.4% were from 25 to 44, 34.7% were from 45 to 64, and 31.7% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 46.6% male and 53.4% female. As of the census of 2000, there were 759 people, 343 households, and 215 families residing in the city. The population density was 887.3 people per square mile, 340.8 per square kilometer. There were 413 housing units at an average density of 482.8 per square mile, 185.4 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 97.50% white, 0.40% African American, 0.79% Native American, 0.26% Asian, 0.13% from other races, and 0.92% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 0.53% of the population. There were 343 households out of which 22.2% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 53.9% were married couples living together, 6.7% had a female householder with no husband present, and 37.3% were non-families. 34.4% of all households were made up of individuals and 17.8% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.14 and the average family size was 2.72. In the city, the population was spread out with 19.6% under the age of 18, 4.0% from 18 to 24, 21.9% from 25 to 44, 26.6% from 45 to 64, and 27.9% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 48 years. For every 100 females, there were 95.1 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 88.3 males. The median income for a household in the city was $32,667, and the median income for a family was $40,000. Males had a median income of $30,500 versus $21,042 for females. The per capita income for the city was $18,481. About 3.6% of families and 5.4% of the population were below the poverty line, including 5.1% of those under age 18 and 5.1% of those age 65 or over. Condon hosts special events throughout the year including Robert Burns Day in January, the Tumbleweed Basketball Tournament in March, the fabulous 4th of July, and the Fall Festival in November. The Gilliam County Historical Museum complex at Burns Park along Route 19 includes several restored buildings, including a train depot, caboose, church, barber shop, jail, schoolhouse, and the Silas A. Rice Log House, which is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Condon has a farmer's market, golf course, swimming pool, and movie theater. There is also a game bird reserve, recreational ranches, and hunting lodges nearby. Condon students are served by the Condon School District, which includes Condon Elementary School and Condon High School. The five largest employers in Condon as of 2002 were the Gilliam County Government, the Condon School District, the North Central Education Service District, the Hotel Condon, and Summit Springs Village, an assisted living center. The Times Journal is a weekly newspaper published in Condon. The state airport in Condon is named Pauling Field after former resident Linus Pauling and sits at the north end of town. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.